right dear students we are back again this time we are going to deal with the mo diagram but this time for oxygen molecule in previous lecture we took nitrogen molecule we'll all simultaneously calculate its bond order and obviously we'll try to know its magnetic property i've already formulated the oxygen atoms on either side with the uh, uh, atomic orbital section in the molecular orbital i have tried to form the o2 molecule i have already placed it over here okay as far as oxygen atom concerned we are all aware that it has got 8 as its atomic number 8 electrons we have filled up accordingly in 1s2 2s2 2px2 y1 and z1 because they are 8 same thing for this oxygen atom okay now we want to fill up the electrons in such a way that we want to form o2 molecule so for that we will consider the three theories as i uh, cleared in the last episode pauli's exclusion principle aubau rule and obviously hans maximum multiplicity rule so this is what we need to know thoroughly the three theories simultaneously we will utilize them to fill up the electron now first of all will consider the 1s orbital of oxygen atom having two electrons so from those two as the lower energy can accommodate the electron prior to the higher energy will fill one electron from here into sigma 1s orbital which is our bmo similarly for 1s orbital this two electrons out of those two one we will definitely and deliberately fill it in the sigma 1s so now you can see two electrons in an orbital are completely filled so now comes the third electron that is second from this and it has to definitely get filled in the higher energy orbital because this is already having no vacancy as it is completely filled okay so we'll fill up this electron into the higher energy that is sigma star 1s orbital the other electron of another oxygen atom also gets filled up in sigma star 1s orbital so you can see these four electrons we have filled up in the molecular orbital section now we come to the 2s orbital with two electrons and 2s orbital with the two electrons okay one electron from 2s gets into bmo and one electron from this 2s also gets paired up in the same sigma 2s orbital fine so that is pairing taking place now we have another electron in the 2s orbital of this oxygen atom it has to compulsorily get into the sigma star 2s that is anti bonding molecular orbital so obviously this will also pair up with the same and as a result the two electrons get paired up so you can see for 2s and 1s there is no complication because we have already taken the details in the nitrogen molecule in previous lecture but now comes the important part the twist is over here right let's see in x2 we have electrons in y1 and z1 again over here the same thing is there now i'll take one electron i'll i'll just concentrate on one electron of 2px and i have got three options pi 2px pi 2py and sigma 2pz just concentrate this is the bmo level okay right according to pauli aubau and hunt we'll try to first of all accommodate the one which is having the lowest formation of energy and over here you can see it is sigma 2 pz orbital as far as oxygen atom concerned so one electron sorry from 2 px gets filled up in sigma 2 pz now that is one orbital level sigma 2 pz so if we consider another o atom containing x y and z electrons one electron from 2px will pair up will pair up with the previous electron according to pauli aubau and hund rule so definitely it has to get paired up over here now we'll take about electron for 2px which is again present over here we have got two open options one is pi 2px and pi 2py because this is now completely filled this can either get fill up in pi 2px or pi 2py both options are open because their energies are similar fine okay suppose we fill that electron fill up uh, in pi 2px orbital then this electron again mind you this electron can 
हैव नो ऑप्शन बट टू गेट फिल्ड अप ओनली एंड ओनली इन पाई टू पी वाई वाई बिकॉज इट कैन नॉट पेयर अप विद दिस द एनर्जीज ऑफ दिस टू आर सेम एंड अकॉर्डिंग टू हंड रूल द इलेक्ट्रॉन विल ट्राई टू रिमेन अनपेयर एज फार एज पॉसिबल इन इक्वी एनर्जेटिक ऑर्बिटल्स सो हियर द इलेक्ट्रॉन हैज टू गेट फिल्ड इन पाई टू पी वाई दैट इज देयर ओके नाउ वी कम टू टू पी वाई ऑर्बिटल कंटेनिंग वन इलेक्ट्रॉन दैट इलेक्ट्रॉन अगेन कैन हैव टू ऑप्शन आइदर इट कैन पेयर अप विथ पाई टू पी एक्स और इट कैन पेयर अप विथ पाई टू पी वाई बट ओके लेट एस ओवर यर पेयर अप विथ पाई टू पी एक्स then we have two py orbital having one electron this time that electron cannot have an option it has to compulsorily get into the orbital that is containing only one electron and that is which pi 2 p y so this is how the electrons are filled but as far as oxygen concerned one more electron is present and that is still in 2 p z so that electron now again has got three options 1 2 and 3 Again, according to three principles, it will either get filled up in pi two p x or pi two p y. Options are open. Let us fill up in pi star two p x because it is anti bonding. Okay. Then about this two p z orbital, this electron has to compulsorily get into pi star two p y according to Hund's rule. The equi energetic orbitals get filled up. equally fine so this is the important thing this is the this is the twist in filling up the electrons as far as oxygen molecule concerned and that is how we can say that molecular orbital theory is much 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 superior to valence bond theory because in valence bond theory every molecule formed was diamagnetic let's see what happens in molecular orbital theory as far as oxygen molecule concerned that will come to know with respect to the bond order let's see bond order of any molecule can be found out by considering the total number of electrons present in bonding molecular orbital that is bmo let's find total 2 in 1 sigma 1s 2 in sigma 2s 2 in sigma 2pz 2 in pi 2 px and 2 in pi 2 py these are bmos so 2 plus 2 4 6 8 and total 10 so i'll write 10 for bmo minus i'll subtract the number of electrons present in a bmo sigma star 1s containing 2 plus sigma star 2s containing 2 total 4 plus pi star 2 px containing 1 and pi star 2 px containing uh, y containing 1 so total 6 so that comes 10 minus 6 there are two energy levels you can see everywhere so we we'll divide by 2 and that comes to 4 by 2 that is finally you can say 2 that means between the two oxygen atoms the bond order is nothing but it's a double bond and that's why we say oxygen molecule is always double bonded that is one thing second we also want to determine the magnetic property that this oxygen molecule which is formed is paramagnetic or diamagnetic if it is containing all the electrons paired we'll say it that it is diamagnetic but even if one electron remains unpaired we'll consider it as paramagnetic let's see paired 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 over here all the electrons are paired here also in the bmo they are paired now see a bmo you can see a bmo two energy levels that is px and py one one electron is present that means they are unpaired and for unpaired the probability of magnetic property is nothing but paramagnetic so we will write that o2 molecule is paramagnetic in nature so this is what we have learned to form the o2 molecule by mo diagram prepare it well in the next episode we'll take hybrid molecule formation like you can say co no etc but come prepared for that episode and see that you are having thorough knowledge of filling up of the electrons till then goodbye and do take care of yourself